Hi, I'm Jim Spaulding. I am a master herbalist, a natural healer, and I'm bringing you some good news about garlic, the super antibiotic. There was a time not so long ago when a student in a laboratory was allowed to pit conventional antibiotics against a mere lowly, low-cost herb such as garlic. Guess what happened? Garlic outperformed the conventional antibiotics. Well, what? So what? Why do you care? I'll give you two reasons why you should care. Number one, antibiotics have side effects. They can merely just wipe out your gut flora, or you might have a small allergic scratchy reaction, or you might go into anaphylactic, anaphylactic shock and you could die or you could have organ failure, or any of a variety of things could happen to you. Not pretty. And it is like Russian roulette. Every day, somebody dies from one of these drugs. Reason number two, garlic kills superbugs. Superbugs are mutant bacteria strains, which are resistant to all known bacteria that is all known bacteria killers. Antibiotics kill bacteria. These bacteria have developed, you might call it immunity, some do. Properly, they just are resistant to be killed by the antibiotic. So therefore, they run rampant and they kill many. Those are two very good reasons. A family member of mine, matter of fact, had a resistant strain of bacteria. It was called MRSA. It is a strain of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aurea. She'd been to the doctor a couple times, taken some antibiotics and it didn't work. It didn't kill the bacteria. We used garlic. As a result, the lesions healed up the bacteria died and it did not come back. This is wonderful news. I will give you only the ingredients in this video. You use bananas, mayonnaise, and garlic. Two bananas, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and four garlic cloves. So you mince up in step number one, the garlic cloves. You mash together the minced garlic with the bananas and the mayonnaise. And you eat this and you do it four times a day. Why four times a day? Well, you have to make sure you get enough garlic in you. And why do you have to make a fresh dose of this every time you take a dose? Because the garlic will evaporate. It will become broken down after several hours, just sitting at room temperature after it's mashed. When you mince garlic, it begins immediately to degrade. So you will need to keep in your home enough garlic to last for a week if it's a serious disease. If it's not a serious disease, two or three days will work. Try it. I think you'll be delighted with the results and you won't have to go through the agony of potentially even dying from the side effects of the antibiotics. Jim Spaulding, Master Herbalist, Natural Healer.